doing? I hope you're doing fine. But if you're not fine, do not worry. God is there with you. He'll take care of you. You're going to be fine. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, you are welcome. I talk of relationships, fashion, beauty, and life experiences in general. So please subscribe to this channel today and now. Please. <laughs> It's been so long since I did a sit down video and I miss you so much guys. I'm so excited and very happy to sit down here to talk to you today. For today's video, it is going to be a relationship video and I'm going to be answering a suggested video that I was asked in the video I did of how we met, how I met my husband and the question was, can you please do a video about the challenges of a long distance relationship plus a feeling of doubt and feeling like giving up in the long distance relationship. So before I start, I want to say that long distance relationship is not easy at all. It is really hard. It needs commitment. It needs a lot of sacrifices from the both sides. With that said, in today's video, it is going to be like a story time kind of because I'm going to be giving you my own experience because I was in a long distance relationship when I was dating my husband and I have friends who are in a long distance relationship. They always call me to ask for opinion, to ask for advice. So I'll also be giving you some of those challenges that is going to be our today's video guys and let us start right away challenge number one when you are in a long distance relationship is loneliness sometimes you feel so lonely sometimes you feel like you should grow wings <laughs> and be there where your partner is or you wish your partner should be there with you where you are so that you can do some activities together. Maybe sit in a couch, cuddle each other, watch a movie at the end of the day, or just go for a walk, or go to the beach. If you like clubbing, go clubbing together. You just miss him, and you find yourself sitting down in one place for a long time, thinking a lot, feeling like not doing anything, Oh my God, it is really, really difficult and the loneliness when you are in a long distance relationship is so strong. But what I can advise you, if you feel so lonely, please try to be busy. Try to be around people you love. Try to do things you like to do. So it will keep you busy and your life will go on instead of sitting in one place and think all over and over about your partner. No, just go out, have fun, but back in your mind, you know he is there with you. Challenge number two, when you're in a long distance relationship, is trust. Sometimes you get those weird feelings, thinking that maybe your partner is cheating on you when you're not around because this man is a thousand miles away from you so you start imagining things and it is so stressful i remember one time my friend called me she was in a long distance relationship with a man she met online so this man had told her that during the weekend he's not going to be online because he's going for a party but the party of his friend and it's only men so this friend of mine was asking me is it true do you believe it for me i don't believe it i don't trust him i have a lot of doubts about this coming birthday party that he is going so i was like but you should be even thankful he told you that he's not going to be online you imagine <laughs> if you had just wrote him a message and he is not online for two days without any notification you know it is it is really a bad feeling so you should be thankful for that and you are in a long distance relationship you should at least try to trust this person because 
when you continue like not trusting him and you show him that you don't trust him this will make him even run away from you he will just cut the communication because you are stressing him he is trying to tell you that he is not going to be online just let him be let him be let him do what he wants to do if he loves you he will just make sure he does not do something to hurt you so what i can advise you all that are in a long distance relationship is you should trust your partner try to trust him don't show him that you don't trust him because it will not help at all number three challenge of a long distance relationship is communication when you're in a long distance relationship Communication is the key. Communication is everything that will keep you together. You need to talk. You need to chat. You need to share with each other your daily activities. What is going on in your life? Where you are? This will keep you very close and you will feel like you are together. So it helps a lot. I remember when I was dating my husband, we used to chat but not like chat the whole day because of course he was working and i was working i need to work i can't stay on the phone all the day chatting no but whenever we could get time we could use it very effectively we could chat and during the weekends it's only when we could do skype so it is really really good but sometimes you find that one partner is blocking another or is just closing the phone without saying anything it is really bad it is really really stressful i remember <laughs> this happened to me one day uh, i was living with my friend and it was during weekend so i went to work and i forgot to take my key so when i finished working it was just uh, we could finish around 3 pm i called my friend to ask where she is and she told me oh i am out there is this party at my friend so please come so i had to go so when i arrived i found i found a lot of friends there people that i know and i had to stay and help around with the work because it was an engagement party so it was done at the place of a woman so <laughs> i had to start helping like saving food drinks and that uh when i checked my phone the battery was off my phone was off guys so i did not tell my boyfriend that i was going to a party it was just a surprising thing my friend told me there is a party please come and i did not have the key so that i can go home so i asked around everyone that has the same charger that my phone uses so that i can recharge my phone and communicate to my boyfriend that i went to a party so no one guys you cannot believe this no one had the same charger that i was using so there was no means of communicating to my boyfriend that i i am in the party so i was so worried i started thinking what he would start imagining because we are very far away from each other and i did not even tell him that i was going to be in that party so I stayed there guys but my mind was not there at all I was so I started feeling sad and I stayed and during midnight it's when I returned home when I returned home immediately I connected my phone to the charger and switched on my phone I saw his messages he was asking me where are you why is your phone off what is happening at least you should update me what's going on guys i felt so bad and when i checked him he was offline guys offline i slept yes i cannot say that i did not sleep that day i slept but not good i did not sleep good when i woke up immediately i looked at my phone nothing and he was still offline guys <laughs> till midday that is when he opened his phone 
and <laughs> I sent him a message I was like I am sorry it happened like this like that and he told me that it's okay but I was worried I did not know what went wrong I kept on checking on the phone but you were still offline but on my side too I felt so bad guys because he was offline and I started thinking like oh my god is it the end is it over has he just disappeared just like that i kept on asking myself a lot of questions i stayed so sad it was during uh, it was on sunday i felt really really bad but in the end like i said he switched on his phone we talked and we sorted things out so that is why i am telling you communication is the key you should always communicate but not in a stressful way Challenge number four of a long distance relationship is feeling anxious. I don't know if you get me. <laughs> so this happened to me when I came to visit my boyfriend in Italy for the first time. Then it was time to go back home. Hey guys, I felt so bad. I don't know how I can express this feeling, but I felt so anxious. I started feeling like, oh my God, if I go back home, what will happen next? What is to come? Will we continue this relationship or I'll just go home and after that, then that's the end. I was so anxious and another thing that was worrying me <laughs> when I came to Italy, uh, it happened that it was my husband's friend's birthday and we went to the party. So when we were at the party, there was this woman that came and my husband had told me that this woman loves my husband, but he is not into her. <laughs> that is what he told me. So <laughs> I should believe so. <laughs> so he told me that uh, this woman is coming and don't worry if you see her so close to me, you just don't worry, there is nothing going on. So this woman came and when he came, when she arrived, she hugged everyone and she hugged my husband the last, like hugged him so, so close, <laughs> so close and for so long. So afterwards, uh, my husband introduced me to her that uh, meet my girlfriend so she said hi and we continued with the party but after that uh, she just changed like the mood changed <laughs> you know <laughs> if you're a woman um you know women were so we are, we are so sensitive and if something is wrong you will just see that something is not right so I looked at that woman, something was not okay after my husband had introduced me to her. So she stayed around, she was not even enjoying like others were enjoying. She was just seated the whole time and in the middle of the party she left. So when it was time for me to go back home, I was thinking like, oh my god maybe when i go back home this man might change and maybe go to that woman i met at the party <laughs> was so stupid guys but i felt so anxious i went uh, i remember we went to the airport oh my god i cried cried like i don't know like crazy guys i cried a lot the whole flight in the flight i was very sad something was here you know <laughs> like something stays here you feel very sad you f i don't guys i don't know how i can express this if you've gone through that you will understand what i mean so anxious feeling anxious is another challenge that a uh, long distance relationship couples faces but what i can advise on this it is that you should believe in each other 
believe in your partner and look forward for the future because don't stick to your doubts or stick to the moment that you are in just look forward for the future stay positive and believe your partner believe him and everything will be fine just believe him believe in yourselves believe in your relationship challenge number five is controlling or possessive behavior from one partner this happens a lot to the long distance relationship couples it has not happened to me but i have witnessed this to other couples you find that because the partner is imagining a lot of things that the other partner is doing starts to be possessive wants to control every move that the other partner does calls all the time just because she is lonely she just wants to call all the time or when she sends a message to the partner if he does not reply in time or if she calls and he does not pick maybe he is busy or he was far away from the phone then it becomes a problem she will call even 50 times she will send even 20 messages non-stop she becomes so possessive so controlling this happens a lot even on the other side i haven't said it's only on the women's side even sometimes men do that they try to control you where are you who are you with take pictures do this yes i said you should communicate but not in a stressful way when you do it just because you like it you want to show your partner what you're doing the activities that's fine but not just because he's controlling you or she is controlling you wants to see what you're doing wants to know who are you with it becomes so stressful but guys this happens a lot in the long distance relationship couples but what i can advise on this is please if you are a woman and you have this possessiveness controlling behavior please stop because your relationship will not go far as much as you as much as you control your partner with a lot of messages with a lot, with a lot of calls all the time it will not work he will run away he will just cut you off and you'll start crying thinking you are not lucky thinking he was cheating on you but it's not true things should be done calmly and if and if he really loves you guys you will not force things you will not fight like you will not tell him to call you you will not tell him to send you messages you will not tell him to send you photos he will just do it volunteer volunteer <laughs> oh my god english is hard <laughs> As I'm learning Italian so I try to mix languages I am so sorry so he will do it out of love but not just because you're controlling him you want him to see no please stop don't do that lastly visa challenge especially if you are dating someone that needs to take visa so that you can meet then it becomes a very big problem i remember i faced this i was denied visa the first time i applied for the visa to meet my boyfriend so visa is a very big challenge because these people of embassy you don't know what they will ask you don't know if the interview will go well or not so it is really stressful because when i was denied visa i was so down i felt so bad i felt like giving up and losing my boyfriend but he called me he encouraged me he told me that do not worry we are going to be together no matter what even if they don't give you visa if you apply next 
I will come again myself and we'll go through the whole process together. So it helped me a lot and for sure we fought this visa process together and that's why we are together till now. What I can advise you all that are going through the long distance relationship challenges is do not give up. Just believe in yourselves, trust in yourselves, trust in your love because it is only your love that will bring you together. It is only your love that will make you move. And apart from talking, how did you sleep? How did you eat? How did you do that? Where are you? What are you doing? Please talk something concrete, something for the future. Don't just talk and die and then that's the end. You should talk. When are you going to meet? Because these are the things that will make you keep on moving, looking forward for the next meeting, looking forward for your future. Keep strong, don't give up, please. Fight together every challenge. Talk, share the challenges that you're facing. Solve all problems. Don't just close the phone and then that's the end. You just don't want to talk. Please communicate, talk, share challenges and you guys, you will achieve your dreams. And above all, give all to God all your plans, all your dreams, everything that you are planning together, give them all to God. Then everything will be fine and your dreams will come true by His grace. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this video, the ones that are facing, these challenges in long distance relationship share with them this video it will be helpful i'm so sure comment what you think watch my other videos too i have very interesting videos in this channel please hit the notification bell so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video you'll be the first one <laughs> please subscribe help your girl grow the channel subscribe please i love you so so much you are always here 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 in my heart let us meet in my next video ciao ciao